Hey. I'm gonna do a video every three weeks. Yes, I know that I'm late on the planning, but lately I was like sleepy and super lazy, and I'm sorry for that. But anyway, it's the first video of the year. It's a mock. Uh, from now, it's one of my favorite one. Uh, I hope you like it. So I'm gonna show you some uh, pictures of it and a quick description of it. Let's go. So for this mark I have chosen to use 248 by 48 base plates because I wanted an entire bit from the uh, C to the um, mound where actually the German positions. Um, as you can see the mark is divided in two parts so on one side you have the uh, American soldiers trying to uh, reach the mound and on the other side you have the uh, German positions and the uh, German soldiers trying to uh, push back the American from where they came from. Uh, the beach is pretty simple. I just added some few details like hedgehogs, miles and also barbed wire. I would say that the German side is more complex because you have one bunker which is called the double pressure bunker. It's historically accurate and uh, entirely my design. Uh, if you want the number of it, doesn't have any, it's just called the double pressure bunker. Uh, actually, there's a cool website that shows every German position, every bunker that was on my beach in 1944. I will put it in the description for the one that I'm interested. Anyway, I also added a trench that goes along the mound. Um, this part was actually very hard to make because I wanted something very special with some angles. And um, I was always like incited by the results, so I changed it like I think five times. Um, I think I spent like 6 hours to make it, but now the result is here and it looks as I wanted, it looks cool. I don't know what you think about it, but in my opinion it looks very very nice. I think that it took me at least like 10 hours to finish it entirely, but I mean the time spent doesn't count, it's the result that made it the most. And in my opinion this mark is like succeed because it's really as I wanted and I'm like at 100% satisfied by the result. Um, I hope you are too. Mm, I think uh, nothing else to say. Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also leave a like, add a comment. As always, it will be my pleasure to answer your questions. And yeah, that's all. Or perhaps something else. Yeah. Um, for the next video, I'm thinking I'm going to try to make a stop motion. Uh, it's going to be about this mug, so it's going to be about D Day. Uh, I know it's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be long, but I'm gonna try to. So, I mean, I want to do like uh, three minutes uh, stop motion, so it's actually pretty long, but it's not done yet, so I, just, I have to create a scenario to, to do the storyboard. So, it's a long process, but I'm gonna try to. But it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna do a video for the next month, but. I think I'm going to do a video and at the same time I'm going to start to prepare stop motion. Yeah. Uh, that's all. Thank you for watching and uh, Happy New Year to all of you. See you.